Hi guys, my name's Norman. I uh, just thought I'd do a quick video on some of the stuff I'm going to take for my first wild camp. At the moment I think the weight to look at on the scales it looks quite excessive. Uh, when it's on my back around the house obviously feels fine but obviously it's a different story when you're walking up them fells. At the moment it currently weighs in sorry, 27 pounds. That's uh, 12 kilograms for those of you that work in kilograms. Now, 27 pounds, obviously, to me, isn't a lot of weight. However, I think I can reduce that weight by some. Uh, if I could get it to 20, just under 20, it'd be perfect. However, I haven't got the camera and the tripod there with us. That's not included in the weight. Food, I've got some Wayfarer meals in there. Well, I've got Wayfarer meal and pudding. Uh, still needs some more food so obviously I've got to add that to the weight. Uh, other kit I haven't got yet, I haven't got a pee bottle for night times when I can't be bothered to get out of the tent. Uh, getting that tomorrow hopefully so I want to get a decent uh, bottle that will make sure it seals properly. Um, on top of that I think I might obviously being a first time you tend to take a bit more than what you probably need so I'll just go through it. If any of you have any comments where you think I've took too much or maybe too little even uh, and you think there's something I need, please do comment. It would be much appreciated. Obviously the first time you go out, the more help you get the better. First of all, I'd just like to thank Alex Atkinson. Um, he's been giving me a lot of help with advice on outdoor camping. So thanks Alex, really appreciate that. Uh, Chris, Chris Cox, 303, he's on Twitter as well. Uh, YouTube got some brilliant videos thanks again for helping me with regards to tents uh, I'm, I'm going to be hopefully going th for my Hilleberg Acto or the Janu is what I prefer I've held off on that at the moment purely because I'm busy doing the upstairs bathroom and downstairs toilet here so all my savings and funds are sort of going into doing the house up at the minute so the missus wouldn't be too happy if I spent all that on a tent so I've had to go for a cheaper one for now. First of all, to keep the cost down, I just got myself a high gear backpack. It's a 65 lead, 65 plus 10 litre Tibet. Obviously it's just a cheap rucksack, how it performs, I'm not gonna know. It's my first time. Comes with a built-in rain cover, everything you need there. On the outside here, first of all, I've got my bottle, it's a high gear bottle. It's just to keep some spirits in, my booze. Uh, obviously I probably want a bigger one, know me. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm taking yet, so probably old brandy or a bit of rum, rum coke. Vodka if she'll let me. Plus vodka's probably not advisable, sends me off the planet. 2 litre reservoir, want to get a platypus as well as it for extra water. Um, obviously I've only got a 2 litre reservoir there. With regards to water, Alex, thank you for giving me advice. Uh, get, I got myself a travel tap. This is the flip spout one. Uh, with this one though, you fill it up, squeeze it, you can fill your cups up, brush your teeth, wash wounds, all the rest of it. Um, the only thing with this travel tap, the one with a pull-up spout, you can tip upside down and drink from it. This one they advise you to keep it upright at all times and just squeeze, or if you want to drink, suck. So, not sure if I've done the right thing yet with the flip spout instead of the pull spout. Time will tell once I get to use it. So, like I say, once again time will tell. Comes with some insulated jacket, keeps uh, the water from freezing. Obviously our slings over your shoulder. Where should I start? Basically, in the top, I've got my waterproof jacket. It's a Berghaus Mountaineering Extreme High Spec jacket. Extremely waterproof. Uh, well, it's a technical jacket, sorry, as they say. 
that smooth waterproof outer layer. Got waterproof bottom layers, they're uh, still in storage in the cupboard there. Got Burkhouse fleece, it's a lightweight fleece but it's like another technical to keep you warm. Base layer obviously, I've got crag hopper pants. This is obviously what I wear on the day. In my backpack I've got spare crag hoppers and spare base layers. We'll see you in a minute. Now I haven't packed this bag properly yet. Um, I do need a bit of practice on how I want to pack it. I don't think it's packed very well to be honest with you at the moment. And obviously I'll just bung everyone thing in see with the weight. Here I've got me Trekmates lightweight cook set. Now I wanted, like I've said in the previous video, to apologise for the previous videos that weren't very good. This is my Trekmates lightweight pots and pans set. I uh, got it from Guy Outdoors, seven quid. I want my MSR pans and pots, however, for the price, and these were so lightweight, aluminium, it's just unbelievable how light these really are. Uh, obviously, with them being cheap, I don't know how they're going to stand up to the test. Obviously, I'll do a, a first wild camp video in a couple of weeks when I get out there and show you what this kit's really like. So anyway, you basically get a saucepan, frying pan, you get two bowls, two cups. However, obviously I bought that because I go camping with my son, uh, so there's two of us. Obviously I've took the bits out I don't want to use, because um, obviously it's only going to be me going wild camping. Kitchen roll, bin bag, take out, obviously you've got to take out, go in and take out all your rubbish, don't leave anything behind, leave no trace. Also I've packed in, it's me MSR, Basically, from MSR stove, it's not the pocket rocket, it's a micro rocket. Um, comes with its own little igniter. Once again, I've had good and bad reviews on these little igniters. Some people say they're bloody useless. However, I have got a normal lighter. This is me little stove. Just show you this quick. I've got this free. Uh, I subscribe to magazine um, trail magazine to be precise I came free with it so I thought well I might as well give that a good go it's got some excellent reviews on it um, good bit of kit apparently and it weighs 73 grams I think and that's with the plastic pot it's in and the igniter little pot of cooking oil uh, I do plan on maybe having a cup I'm like Dave Murphy at daveswildcamping.com I'm a steak man myself uh, so when I go camping I'll be having a steak uh, that'll be my cheers to Dave for all his great videos so I'll eat a good steak for you Dave hand sanitizer it's probably a bit overkill but got that got me Primus fire starter in case that ignite is no good I'm also going to be taking my little spare lighter so obviously got that In here, it's my bowl. We've got the frying pan, like I said before, and a pan. It's probably too much, but and a handle, obviously. A wild Country Sephros One. And that's my tent. Once again, reason for this: excellent reviews on it. Um, it's based on a Terra Nova laser, uh, but obviously a lot cheaper. Some parts of it, I think, a better design actually, even though it's a cheap tent, where the pole goes in. On the Terra Nova laser, I think you've got to put a separate cover on, whereas all the guy lines and this has a, it's all built in, so you don't need to start doing that. I've got the ground sheet for that as well, separate and packed in there. There. Dry bag. This dry bag here, I do need some more. They're on order, waiting for them to be delivered. I think these were six quid in Tesco to get two. I can't remember the size. A 25 litre and a 10 litre, I think. Let's see. The top, so obviously I want easy access to it. 
is my down jacket. It's a North Face Nupsy 900. Do want to get the RAV one because uh, that's got an insulated hood as well. This one hasn't. Uh, that's the downfall with this one. Don't get me wrong, this is big, puffy, really does keep me warm. Uh, downfall with this one. The only hood it has got is a slight waterproof hood. So, when I can get round to it, that will be getting changed. Uh, I'll just use that as an everyday jacket. But that's to keep me warm when I get up the tops. Mountain first aid kit. I've got that. I personally think it's probably a bit of an overkill. I should have got a smaller one at the time when you're shopping, spending money, you get a bit carried away. So, but at least I've got a half decent first aid kit just in case. Not that I plan on using it. Yeah, Wayfarer chocolate pudding. That's not for me wild camp. It's, uh, I'm taking me sun camping in the woods. Uh, he wanted his chocolate pudding, but it was just to. So I could test the weight because I'll be getting a couple more of them, the meals. In here, this is probably where I've gone a bit over the top. I do like me hot drinks, so I've got teas, coffees, it's me mug. In there I have hot chocolates, sachets, milk sachet. I do like a nice warm drink. There's my spare lighter, a couple of tea bags, a couple of coffee sachets just nicked from the hotel. Another Wayfarer meal, chili con carne. Um, right, on here I have the titanium life of sorry life venture knife fork spoon set. It's just lightweight. I have sporks, but they didn't quite feel as. I didn't know how they. Obviously, I've got a steak. I've got no hope with a spork, so I thought, well, I guess I'm a bit more solid. Got a miniature camping spatula, just to help with the cooking. Once again, that's probably overkill, but helps me turn my steak over. Gas. This one I've took. I can see, I can't even remember what's... Basically I've got my gas for my stove. Can get the smaller one, but obviously just so I get the bigger one. Toilet kit. Toilet roll, hand sanitizer. Little thing of shower gel, shampoo, uh, just in case I'm ever at a hostel, want a proper shower. And now I've got my trowel folding trowel, obviously for obvious reasons. Put everything in the Ziploc bag, because with these I like the fact you can suck the air out of them, sort of vacuum pack them. So that's my toilet kit. Microfiber body towel. Um, Self-explanatory. Wet wipes for a quick wash. Once again, Ziploc bag, suck the air out. Then basically in the bottom, obviously pants and socks and that, base layer, spare base layer, just in case, obviously I'll be sweating through this one, hiking socks, and once again, these are crack hoppers, these ones zip off, so if it's a hot day, which we're not fucking likely to get at the moment, um, <laughs> I can all tell what it's been like lately. So that's just a bit hopeful in hindsight. In the bottom, we have Thermarest Neo Air X Lite sleeping mat. Been playing with this when I've been working away. Obviously I work away, stopping a lot of hotels, so I've been blowing this up, had a little sleep on the floor, really enjoyed it, it was comfortable, good kit. Then I've got me sleeping bag, now the sleeping bag comes in its own 
compression sack. Obviously, as Scott is storing sack as well, but I keep it in the waterproof bag as well, just be on the safe side. Obviously, I don't know if these are waterproof. Uh, I haven't looked into it. This is the Mountain Equipment Titan 650. Extreme risk temperature, obviously matter of life and death situation, minus 26. Transition, which is their comfort limit, is for a man is minus 8. Down to minus 8, shall I state. The comfort limit for the rest of the time is down to, for women especially, is down to minus 2. Probably a bit overkill. Uh, for the mountains, but I know it can get pretty cold up there. A lot of people obviously will probably sit in there think I'll be sweating in this. I am quite a cold person. Um, on a night time, I tend to be the sort of person in bed that huddles around with a duvet, um, have it wrapped around my neck, sort of person. So that's to keep me nice and warm. So that's my kit I'm taking with me. Got my sleep system, cook system, spare clothes, map compass. Cook, like my cook set. Like I say, it's just a brief thing, it's a bit overkill. So please don't hesitate to let me know what I do need and don't need. Yeah, it'd be much appreciated. Hopefully, I'll do a decent video soon of my first wild camp. I do appreciate these first videos are a bit shit. However, circumstances I'm in at the minute here isn't brilliant, but I'll get around to doing a decent video soon. Um, just like to thank once again Paul Bates, the Mus. Uh, your video is excellent, your blog's brilliant. Um, Dave's Wild Camping uh, .com. excellent website, excellent bloke as well, Dave Murphy. Uh, really love your videos. You have me in kinks, got a good sense of humour. Uh, your your videos inspired me to sorry, inspired me to go wild camping uh, to the Lake District. Um, Really inspirational videos, keep them up please. Really enjoy them and Paul, keep yours up. Chris Cox, uh, thanks for your videos on your tent reviews and everything, really good videos. And thanks for your advice, it's been much appreciated. Um, Alex Acton, sorry, I can never say that. Alex Atkinson, um, thanks for your advice on wild camping kit and stuff. Like I say, all you guys, just thank you, your advice has been absolutely brilliant. All right, cheers, and hopefully I'll speak to you soon. Speak to you on Twitter and that, and uh, I'll give you a video review of me first wild camp, and maybe you might see somebody out on the fells. All right, cheers, speak to you later.